There are a couple of ways to create master pages. So you can create a new page or a new master page by right clicking in the top or the bottom part of your pages panel. If you click on the top part or right click on the top part, you'll create a new master page. And if you click on the bottom, you'll have the option to create new pages. However, you may not always want to work from a blank page. Sometimes you'll be working in your document and realize that, you know, page seven that you've created really should be a master page. You've created something that you think is going to repeat on multiple pages and you want it to repeat in exactly the same size, place, color, location, etc. If that's the case, you can always click on a page in your document hit the option flyout menu, which is the little icon with the four horizontal lines in the top right hand corner of any panel in your Adobe software programs. And then you can choose save as a master. If you have two pages selected, it will save a two page master. If you have one page selected, it will become a one page master. So keep that in mind, it's an, it's an option. Um, there, I guess there's a couple ways to do that, right? So you can have page seven be perfect and that's the page that you wanna copy. Or you could just say, you know, I have this content, I already have a master page, there's nothing on it. And so you could select all, copy, or I would cut since it's going to become a master page. And then you can paste it onto one of your actual master page pages. The only thing that you have to worry about if you choose that second option is you have to make sure you're actually on your master page. So always double click the little visible icon uh, for the page that you want to navigate to to double and triple check that you've navigated to that page. You can also share master pages. So maybe you worked on a newsletter that comes out monthly and you created master pages for the January issue, then you want to repeat some but not all of those master pages for the February, March, or April issue. Or maybe someone else started a project and they need to send you the template that they created and they've created them as master pages so they want to save them or share them with you. You can load master pages if you have the document that the master page is contained within. So if I have the INDD InDesign document that has a master page that I need to move from, let's say, document one into document two, you can open the document that you want to move the master pages into. So I'm going to open document two in this example. You can hit the option file out menu in the top right hand corner of the page and you can choose load master pages and then you can find saved on your computer anywhere that you have the other InDesign document. So if you have the first document that has the page that you want to load, you don't have to have it open in InDesign. You just have to find it on your computer and choose load. There will be a prompt that appears and you'll have to make a decision. Do you want to bring in all the master pages or just some of them? If you're going to move the master pages across documents, I recommend not using the default A master, B master, C master titles. Instead, maybe you can name it index, glossary, table of contents, um, newsletter, front page, something like that, so that when it comes in, you know exactly what it is. If you have two documents that have an A master, a B master, and a C master, and then you try to combine all the master pages into one, you're gonna run into issues. When you're working with master pages, it is very important to identify when a master page is the correct course of action versus a style. So a style is going to repeat something in some way more than one time. And a style could be I want to repeat a typeface, but the words are different. Uh, I want to repeat the fill color, but maybe the shape of the box is different. Um, different things like that. A master page is really the main goal of a master page is to repeat something in exactly the same way. I want the page numbers always to be in the bottom outside corner of the page. I want the logo always to be one inch from the bottom right hand corner of the page and I want it on every single page. Um, every time I start a new chapter, I want a red bar across the top of the page and I want um, a graphic in the background that looks like a light gray checkerboard. But it must repeat in exactly the same way in exactly the same size, color, location, etc. If you really can't say that about what you want to repeat, then a master page is probably not the best option. Now, every once in a while, you'll use a master page and you'll realize that you want to repeat 99% of something, but maybe you don't want it to be exact. 
And so an example of this is if you're doing a template for the first page of every chapter, you design it completely for chapter one, and then you repeat that for chapter two, three, four, five through chapter 50. Then you can go to the page that the next chapter starts on, so chapter two, and you can just change the words. If that's the case, that might be an option for a master page, but you'll have to do what's called um, overriding master page elements. And you can do that by choosing command shift click or uh, control shift click on a PC. And you'll do that on your actual page. So if chapter two starts on page 11, you'll go to page 11, command shift click the text frame that says chapter two, or it'll say chapter one, and you'll change it to say chapter two and the actual name of the chapter title. However, when you break things from a master, you're disconnecting the link between them. And you'll find that when you use master page elements, InDesign wants to help you. If you disconnect something or you override a master page element, but you don't break the link between the color and the typeface, but you may break the link between the text, and then you decide to change the color of the text, you may end up with all of your chapters automatically updating to the new text color. Or maybe you do it and it doesn't work. So you need to test it and make sure that you, when you make a change, you're only changing the position, but you're not changing what the color of the text is, or you're changing what it says, but you're not changing the typeface, if that makes sense. When we do the next video, I'm going to jump over to InDesign, and I'm going to show you how to, how to do all of this. But before I get there, I just want to note that if you decide to override master page elements, and then you realize that that was a mistake and you should not have done that, you have two options to fix it. If the content on your page is not worth losing, you can just delete everything on that mass on that page, let's say it's page 11, and then you can reapply the master by clicking and dragging master B onto page 11, or you can hit the option flyout menu, which allowed you to override master page elements, and you can come down to the master page option, and you can remove selected local override, so I have something selected with my black mouse or my selection tool, or you can just remove all local overrides.